I have 10 days to get as shredded as possible. Ah, bats are key. I've eaten so much tonight. I fucked up. Yo! But why? Does it help my chances out getting with girls? <laughs> yeah. It does? <laughs> yeah. Do you work out? Uh, you look like you work out. Thank you, I try when I get time. Are your legs tired? Um, because you've been running in my mind all day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have a good day. You too. I should get more shredded, right? Yes. More shredded? More all right, thank you. Ooh, she was hot. I should go get a number. Now before we attempt to get shredded, I am in Tampa, Florida right now. And let me tell you, I riz up some of these college girls. So next video, you guys may think I got negative riz and shit. I am gonna be rizzing up girls. Did you hear the newest health report? No, you what got, is it? You gotta increase your vitamin D. Oh, okay. there we go. All right, all right for real. I think, I think you're like really cute and I was just wondering Thank if I you. get your Instagram. <laughs> oh shit. W Jim Riz and W Jim We should have like work out together sometime, you know? I may have pulled one and schemed something, but you're gonna have to wait till next video. I actually need to get shredded. This is my starting physique. I weigh 189 pounds and I'm low-key insecure about my body. So that is why I'm doing this challenge. I want to push myself and put myself out of my comfort zone and be uncomfortable. It's important to be comfortable with being uncomfortable to improve your lifestyle and mindset. Can I get Big Mac? Okay. Can you do the buy one, get one too? And a large fry, large sweet tea. That's all. All right, guys, this is the last cheat meal before we start the diet. So we gotta make this shit count, you know? This is my first Big Mac that I've had in ages. I'm talking since I was like eight years old. We got ourselves two Big Macs and a large fry, a large sweet tea, because if you ain't getting a sweet tea from McDonald's, you're bugging out. This is the first Big Mac bite in ages. Little bit of fries, bite. Spit it all over. <laughs> Feels good. Mmm. Mmm. First Big Mac complete. The saucy goodness. McDonald's does it again. Let's go, baby! I'm feeling freaking like an animal! I'm fueled off Big Mac juice. <laughs> I hope I get shredded for vacation. Let's see if I do. Y'all thought I forgot about dessert? Oh, it's day one. No bullshit today. I'm getting shredded for the girls. Bella, I'm gonna get shredded for the cat. For the little puss, you know what I'm saying? Heard you. It is the morning of after the Big Mac. I woke up a little groggy, a little tired, didn't want to get up. This is our first day of cardio. During these next 10 days, I am going to be doing fasted cardio every morning along with strength training and then more cardio after I train. One mile every morning, love that. Mmm. Guys, so I'm gonna be only eating carbs before my workouts and after, so I'm using the carbohydrates as energy as I work out. This is my last carb of the day because I already had one pre-workout. We are 184 pounds. I'm finally getting a little more lean. I can already see it. My body's definitely letting out all that water that I was holding onto from all the carbs and shit. Ugh. Ugh. All right guys, here's my post-workout meal with carbs, you know the body. And I wanna talk about avocado and fats. It's very important that you're eating fats when you're eating lower calories and lower nutrition because when you eat lower calories, your hormone levels drop and testosterone levels, it's the truth. And the only thing that helps that is healthy fats. Olive oil, peanut butter, avocado. So make sure you're getting in your servings of fats. Don't minus this out of a diet. The fats are key to hormone levels, producing more testosterone. So don't hide from this when you're cutting. Look at the end of the tunnel and see the little glance of light of me being shredded. And you gotta just do it. Today we have a wedding, right? And I'm trying to get shredded in 10 days. I gotta go to Florida. But I'm gonna show you the key tips. <laughs> Bailey, stop. <laughs> Ma, stop. This is gonna be challenging, but this is what it comes down to. Keeping strong, staying strong on the diet. So I'm gonna show you what to do if you're in a situation where there's parties, family parties, dinners or whatever. I'm gonna show you what to do. Follow this, what I'm gonna do today. And we're gonna still be on track, baby. Let's do it. Nothing's stopping us. 
We're gonna start off with strength training. You can burn lots of calorie hitting the weights. Gotta do cardio, keeping the calories low. We're not eating too much, because we can't. We're gonna eat later tonight at the wedding. So you gotta make sure that you're staying low calories throughout the day, keeping your mind occupied, working out, running. All right guys, so I only ate one thing today, which was egg whites and eggs and low calorie toast, and then a little bit of just straight up protein just to hit my protein goal today. When you're leading up to later that day to what you're gonna be doing, going out, eating, you wanna be chugging so much water throughout the day, flushing out your body. Your body's made of 60% of water. So chugging water, low calorie foods leading up, like zero carbs, and then we try to control ourselves and portion the food out tonight. All right, guys, right now we are eating chicken and carbohydrates. This is high in protein and a bottle. Okay, I've saved up for this. So exactly what I was saying, I ate low calorie, low carbohydrates in the beginning of the day, and now we celebrate now. We're still going on track. Let's get shredded, baby. I'm gonna be set back, guys. I fucked up. Oh my God. Bro, I'm having a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. I've eaten so much tonight, and I was supposed to get shredded. It's alright, but you better stop eating now. Oh my god, cinnamon toast crunch, bro. Why am I doing this, bro? Why are you letting me do this? Because you ate tonight, that's what happens. That's what happens, yo. Yeah, it's like when you let a little in, you take a lot of it. I said tomorrow's a new day. I Duh. And then I ate like shit. Where is my phone? Stop, bro. I'm trying to do a challenge. I'll do the fucking challenge. Nah, yo, I was so good. And then this day fucked me up. I just ate like a hog. Stop. That's my editing laptop. What are you doing? Watch the camera. Five points. Five points. Five points right in the edge. Five points. I went way out of hand, guys. Last night, I just woke up. I'm scared to check my weight. Oh my god, no. Oh, give me, I fucked up big time, mom. Are you kidding me? How much? You gained? 191 pounds. It's just fluid from last night. You can work the, get that out today. I'm gonna go do cardio. What? Oh my god. Now, how are we gonna recover from that? I don't even know how that's possible. That was like eight pounds in a night. Like, I don't even know how that's possible, but. Luckily, I'm good at this shit. First things off, you wanna be chugging water throughout the day. I'm talking water, like a gallon an hour. Flush out the shit out of your system. Max incline, four speed. Got a little sweat going, sweating out some liquids. You're gonna still keep chugging water, keep it active today, and we're fasting today. That's the key, we're gonna fast today, maybe until like 1 p.m. I'm gonna be running my first mile. <sighs> One mile complete, my calves hurt, my feet hurt. Uh, I got cramps everywhere. Yes! Holy shit. 182.8 pounds, boys. Let's go. It is two days after that night out that I had it, and we already shrunk out. Just because I told you about the water, you gotta chug lots of water. The day after when you're recovering, just keeping it active. Eating lower calorie foods, lower carbs, because you just had a big night out. Guys, I'm happy how it's turning out right now, because we are getting leaner. I can see it on my face a little bit, but anything's possible, bro. Put your mind to it, work hard, chase it, because anything's possible, and you are capable of doing anything behind the screen. You gotta have dedication, you gotta work towards it, and just to prove to you anything's possible, we're gonna do this together. I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna be way more shredded. Be shredded for vacation, so I just wanna let you guys know, keep going, keep working hard. I have been eating the same breakfast every morning. Three eggs, shit. Splash of egg whites. There's more fat and calories in whole eggs. This shit's mad long in calories and it adds more volume. Quick, simple hack. Then I just make an omelet with peppers and onion and then two slices of low calorie bread. 40 calories a slice. That is goaded. I can't stress this enough, please drink water. Like, it is ideal. If you're trying to lose weight, like just drink 
water. Like a glass before you start your meal, a glass with your meal, and then a glass after your meal. This will make you feel so much more fuller as you're eating, way more satiated, and it flushes out your system. You will lose so much more weight if you drink like a gallon a day. Your body's made up of 60% water. I am actually, we are three days out and I am lean. I'm getting even more lean. My workouts are a little bad though. I'm getting low energy and shit, and that's what happens when you eat lower calories. Your workouts are gonna be worse. I'm eating lower carbs and shit, but I'm holding on to my phone. That's because of the protein. We're doing good. Let's go, boys. We're about to be on vacation. We're gonna get lit. Hope you guys are getting shredded with me. Let's go. 31 minutes, 10.50. If you just tell your brain and stimulate it to go do stuff, you will do it. We are literally leaving right now, and I am actually lean, bro. In 10 days, we did this shit, bro. We gotta go to Florida. We gotta see a little woman like this shit. We gotta do other crazy shit. Go, baby, we lean one day. We're leaving right now. Look, I got my bags packed and shit. We ready to take on Florida, bitch. Let's go, set a crew. 183 pounds right now. That's like six pounds of fat. Because realistically, I was 189, and now I'm 183, probably 182. I drank a little bit of water, but that is crazy. That is six pounds of fat, and six pounds of fat, guys. I don't know if you don't know, if you don't look it up, like, like two bricks, like, and that distributed out through your body is crazy. Like, my face is definitely leaner, what I've noticed, in pictures and shit and selfies, so. With me, baby. I'll see you guys in Florida, baby. Let's go. You're on my level of fitness. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize you had that pump. Oh, shit. You know my body. I used to do the gym. Uh, what, all right, what's your name? What's your name? Give me what, some. No, you might hurt me. What's your name? Wait. Say Vince Aesthetic. Protein equals puss. Vince says protein uh, equals pussy. pussy. <laughs> we all need pussy cats. It's a pussy cat that goes away at the gym. Oh, it says he loves it that way. <laughs> protein. I think my anger equals it. Oh, Vince Aesthetic. You want you want to know the secret, bro? It's the protein and the puss. Woo! You gotta eat it. You, you gotta, gotta eat, eat that, that shit, yeah. man. Oh, yeah, you gonna get me in trouble. You gotta eat that shit. Let's See, go. I can't violate the Miller Center. Let's go. Itself. Eat your protein. Hey. Show's fire. Welcome to Florida, guys. Is it recording? Yep. Alright, your eyes. Fit bottom. Or bad. I think all of us are down. Um, a combination. Yeah, like combination. Ooh, no, bro. That's fit bot all the way. What do you mean yes. combination? You'd yeah. rather have yeah, a fat guy? You'd rather have a fat guy? Yeah, it's better to cuddle with someone when they have a little pillow. Yeah. Stop the cat. Because I don't want to lay on a rock. Like, yeah, you're, you're pretty hard. No. Oh. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> We got shredded, we did that shit, and I'm hyped, baby, let's go! Let's go, Aesthetic Crew, we did that shit. You better be ready to get big with us, because that's how we do it on the Aesthetic Crew. We're a fucking community and we get huge. We push each other, and I just wanna say, anything's possible, put your mind to that shit. Keep working hard every day, you're capable of everything. Just believe in yourself and know that it's possible. I got shredded in 10 days, we fucked up at the wedding, but we're still doing good, and I'll see you guys when we're doing some fun shit.